Welcome to Sketchy. We take all the super complex stuff you need to learn and turn them into memorable visual stories packed full of everything you need to know on test day. Click the link in the corner or description to try for free for seven days. Now let's get to it. Once again, we've descended into our abdominal aorta subterranean mine. This time, we're going to follow the aromas wafting from the superior mess hall as we explore the superior mesenteric artery. The superior mesenteric artery, or SMA as it's commonly referred to, is the second splanchnic branch off of the aorta, meaning it's the second major branch off the aorta to supply the GI system. Recall from our abdominal aorta sketch that the superior mess hall, symbolizing the SMA, was the second door on the GI side. We've snuck in these other doors as a reminder. The more superior mess hall is where all the four people and bosses eat, compared to the less fancy inferior mess hall, representing the inferior mesenteric artery. But more on that later. The SMA handles blood supply going to the midgut. So we have our foreman showing off his, um, midgut here. Specifically, midgut means the intestines from the third part of the duodenum, represented by our foreman's Canadian tuxedo of a denim jacket and pants, also known as a duo of denim, all the way to the proximal two-thirds of the transverse colon, shown by his colonic-looking belt, which maybe needs some adjusting. The SMA has numerous branches, but luckily they're named specifically for where they go. The jejunal branches to the jejunum, Ileal branches to the ilium, the iliocolic branch to the ileocecal junction, which has its own branches, including the appendiceal branch to the appendix, the right colic artery to the right or ascending colon, and the middle colic artery to the transverse colon. They all tend to intermingle and interconnect as well in groups called arcades. The SMA also supplies part of the head of the pancreas via the inferior pancreatic duodenal artery. Just note that the pancreas is firmly part of the foregut, and the majority of it is supplied from the celiac trunk via the superior pancreatic duodenal arteries. So, we've brought in our recurring symbol for the pancreas, along with this head popping up over the table to remind you that it's just the head. 